Hello. One of our basic human needs is to be seen, to be heard, and most of all to be loved, or to be considered and respected by another, other human beings, no matter what our situation is. And maybe the bottom line is not to be judged, to be accepted for who we are, no matter what. My name is Karina and this is Break Fear Find Freedom and today we're doing a show a little bit differently where we are showcasing a resource or a place that gives this to people that are experiencing displacement or homelessness. This place is showers of blessings and in this video we'll show how people give back and the love, simple love of humanity helps spread the love and elevates people to another level, even if it is for only a few hours a week, once a week, but it changes everything. So if you want to be inspired, or you just are curious, sit back, grab your running shoes, or not, or grab your coffee, and listen and watch this story unfold. Thank you, and I'll see you on the inside. You know, I love meeting the people that come to our, to our showers of blessings. We've kind of formed a community here and I just love it. And I, I mean the people who come for food and showers. And so what do you love about it? Uh, just the union, the one-on-one. -on -one. Why showers of blessing? Um, Jesus put on my heart to help the others and help all. So that's what is on my heart and um, I'm happy to do it. That's yes, pretty cool. From, uh, he, only like, he only likes peanut butter and jelly, no meat. No meat. No oh. meat. today <laughs> I'm working in um, the clothing up in the pass out clothing oh I normally what? work on the showers yeah but I'm light duty oh oh uh, so I, why did you change today oh I, I had a pacemaker put in so I have to stay off you know kind of do lightweight light stuff oh. lightweight work. you can't stretch your butt let's put your arm up above your head oh wow for two weeks no, no, she told me longer than that. Oh, really? Like six weeks. Oh, ours was two weeks. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. you better take it easy yeah, now. I'm today. taking it easy. <laughs> that's good. And besides, that's fun, though. It's a different kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I never worked up there, so I get, it's good to experience. I did it last week, too, but while we were out here. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It changes as good as a holiday, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, God gives us the joy of coming alongside all people. And I learn a great deal from those who come to receive here on any level. They teach me, and it's very biblical about feeding the hungry, clothing the poor. And the people I work with have hearts that are bigger than you can imagine, as do those who come. So we're like one big family, and it's my highlight of the week. the famous hairdresser here, right? <laughs> yeah, but... we laugh together. <laughs> you cut a lot of hair, I know that. Oh, I cut a lot of hair. You yeah, cut a lot, yeah. but you do more than that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. You listen. You listen? I listen. You got to take the hair out of their ears, trim their eyebrows, <laughs> their fingernails, their toenails. Why do you do it? Why do I do it? Because it's fun. <laughs> and because I learn a lot. I learn a lot from all these homeless people. It's amazing how much I learn from them. It really is. <laughs> Why do you come here, but Homer? I came here for the, um, the, the camaraderie, the, the fellowship of the saints, and uh, take a shower and uh, look presentable for the people. Uh, we started it about seven years ago. Actually, seven years ago this week we started it. Oh, and we were working together with the uh, group in Encinitas that already had a shower trailer. And so we, we borrowed the, their shower trailer. It's brought through the Episcopal Diocese. And then um, we got really tired of having to go all the way down to San Diego to get this. So we got a bunch of churches together and we all fundraised and bought the trailer that we have now in the truck. And so that trailer and truck go between um, uh, Encinitas and here. Um, we've expanded. We started out in the beginning with hot showers and some food and a little bit of clothing. And now we've we've morphed into um, quite a quite a, an array of clothing. Lots of partners with the food uh, who bring food for us. Starbucks. Uh, gives us coffee, um, and you now we also have a medical clinic, and we also have a laundromat, a mobile laundromat for people, which is wonderful. And then, like uh, today, we have a um, dental de dental truck, that mobile dental truck that comes and um, takes care of people's dental needs once a month. Wow! Yeah. yeah. So we're. We're big. <laughs> You've got a beautiful surface here, but I know that because we, we spoke a, a bit um, before. I know that this is almost divinely um, orchestrated, right? I didn't have to go looking for anything. Everybody came to me, or to us, I should say, not to me, but to us. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention our wonderful um, stylist who comes every week. And um, she's. She's just, everybody comes to her because they know that she's a really good stylist and she will do them proud. So our people go out of here looking clean, freshly shaven, and freshly haircut. And yeah. And you give them a new lease or not? Yeah. yeah, they go out with pretty, um, um, most of them go out with smiles on their face. But it's not only that, right? You also create like a community here. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, yeah, very true. And you know, we could get new people all the time, um, but uh, but it, like you said before, um, it, it all came to me, and I know I know the Holy Spirit is behind this and wanted this, and has you know, and our fortunately our church was open to, to doing this. Our church, by the way, is St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Carlsbad. Oh, thank you, Chris. Um, that congratulations. This is such a beautiful um, initiative. Thank you.